So, hello. Uh, good morning. Today is January 2. And actually, this is the day that I first started Gospel Daily. And I want to share with you a very powerful passage or coincidence that happened. Because in January 1, I was really planning to start even before in 2017. But I had a lot of doubts and worries. But because of this gospel, it was, I think it's really amazing how God works. And I'll tell you why later in explaining my reflection. So the gospel for today is about John the Baptist and his testimony to himself. It is John 1, chapter, John chapter 1, verses 19 to 28. So I'll read it aloud. So, and this is the tes testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Messiah. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Messiah or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose hand is trapped, I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan. Where John was baptizing. So today's gospel focuses about the identity of John and many people were questioning him, who are you? And two verses actually struck me. The first verse is verse 23. He said, I am the voice of the one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. So in John's answer, he actually indirectly answers what the prophets were, what the Pharisees were asking him. He says that he is the voice of the one crying out in the desert, makes it the way of the Lord. And the way I interpret it is that he is the announcer that the Messiah is coming, that someone more powerful than him is coming, that he is not the Messiah, but he's just an announcer or uh, assistant follower of the Messiah. And What's really amazing about this is that John knew his identity. He knew his mission, which is to proclaim the word of God and become God's announcer to the people. And likewise, we humans, we should also know that we are also capable of doing this. We are capable to live out our faith and share with people the glory of Jesus and the joy that we have in sharing with him his divine mission of spreading love to one another. The next verse that really touched me is verse 26 to 27. John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. So in the later chapters, we will find out actually that John baptizes God instead of God baptizing him. And I think it's a really powerful passage because God who is all powerful allowed us humans who are imperfect to be able to baptize him. And it shows God's love for us that he is able to trust us. And because God is able to trust us, I believe that we should also trust in ourselves more, that we are capable of doing great things for God's greater glory. And this is actually what I wanted to share with you because I had a lot of doubts whether I would be doing this or not, whether someone or anyone would benefit from me doing these videos. But I realized that if God trusts us humans, then why can't we trust ourselves? So it would be like disrespecting God in a way. So, I think it's really powerful and it's great timing because I just had the courage and the realization to do this video in January 2, which talks about the mission of John, which is also our mission to share 
with God's divine mission in spreading love and spreading the good news. So that's all. God bless and live your faith.